Danielle Brandon is the first woman done with her 400 meter run. She'll get right to work on the wall balls. All eyes are on her. I think her CrossFit celebrity has obviously grown, but I also think that people are going to see that her ability has grown and that her capacity has grown. Danielle Brandon has really closed the gap here on Brooke Wells. I think she's going to go out there and I, I think she's going to prove to people that she should be spoken of uh, with the best athletes in the world. And there it is. Danielle Brandon has the event lead. And she's going to get through the entirety of this set and work her way back to the tank. Danielle closed day two with a bang. She gets a win in event number four, and it moves her up the leaderboard and into second place heading into Sunday. Danielle Brandon with her first event win of the competition. Justin Cotler saluting that effort. I think we feel good. Yeah. I'm tired today. I just think two weeks catching up to me a little bit. Um, but I'll, I'll get I'll get back in the zone a little bit um, once we get this thing kicked off. So I think the ladies feel good. DB feels good. We like the workouts today. I think she likes the workouts in general, and you know I expect her to do well. And um, she's uh, obviously solidly in second, but only eight points out of first. Uh, so I think, you know, we'll try to push for that top spot today and then we'll see what happens. Dallin with a pop even out of that squat. 325 nice. for Dallin Pepper. Saxon Panchik is in the lead. Dallin Pepper has moved ahead of Noah Olsen for second. Dallin Pepper has slid in the head of Luis Oscar Mora. There's Dallin Pepper who is going to be solidly inside the top five. On the men's side, Dallin Pepper looks great sitting in second place, and really he's been going back and forth toe-to-toe -to -toe with Saxon Panchuk all weekend long. You know, with this one, you have to be able to uh, stay underneath your threshold on this. On the bike, it's just long enough that if you push it too hard, you may not have enough boost to finish. Your leader, Tyler Christoffel, Luis Oscar Moya, and Dallin Pepper are all right there. This is super close. Dallin Pepper is one of the most decorated teenage athletes of all time in CrossFit. So he has that experience based performing at the games level at a young age. And I don't think there's any question that in the years to come, Dallin Pepper is going to wind up with a medal around his neck at the CrossFit Games. Danielle Brandon with an event win to start off day three. And there is Justin Cutler, the greeter. And she is going to sweep the final three events to head back to Madison, Wisconsin. I think what makes Danielle dangerous at the games is that she has a few skills in her back that allows her to rise up and win events at the games. And nothing's more beneficial to your podium hopes than being able to dial something up and get 100 points when it's needed on a big stage. I mean, I just wanted to finish, and I was excited that I was. I thought I was winning, so. I don't know. I'm just stoked that all my hard work's paying off. Do you feel different this year compared to last year? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. You know, I want it to win, but it's nice to keep in perspective, like, winning isn't necessarily the end goal, right? Like, making the games is the goal, and then doing well at the games means even more, and people will remember that more.